Hi, welcome to another session of MPMC lab programs. Our today's program is finding LCM using 8086. LCM can be found by using the following logic. First, we need to find the GCD that is greatest common divisor or you can call it as a greatest common factor. Then by using GCD, you can find the LCM. The logic is multiply the two numbers and divide with GCD. That will give you LCM. Here is the algorithm. Uh, in first step, we compare the two numbers. If they are equal, then GCD is uh, any of those two numbers here. I'll take N2 as a GCD and directly go to the step five. Okay, in step five, what we're doing is we're just multiplying the two numbers and dividing with the GCD that will give you the LCM. If they are not equal, we'll go to the step three. So we'll compare those two numbers. If N1 is less than N2, then for division we have to perform this swapping operation okay otherwise in step 4 divide first number n1 by n2 if the remainder is 0 then n2 is our gcd and directly we'll go to the step 5 okay else we'll take number 2 as number 1 and remainder as number 2 and repeat the step four so this will be repeated until we get the remainder zero that means until you find the gcd so after finding the gcd so step five is just multiply n1 and n2 that is both the numbers and divide with the product divide that product with the gcd and whatever the coefficient that is equivalence to the lcm so this is the algorithm now we'll see the program here it is the program so lcm of two numbers in data segment we have declared two numbers n1 and n2 and two other operands that is gcd and lcm so this is a first number this is second number this is to find the gcd and this is to store the lcm Take the first number n1 into ax and take the second number n2 into bx. Okay, so this is the comparison operation. So compare ax with bx, that is, we are comparing the two numbers. If they are equal, directly we'll go to the answer where we will uh, find that multiplication of the two numbers and dividing with the GCD. Otherwise, if they if the uh, first one is a less than second one we'll do that swapping otherwise we'll perform the division operation so for performing division operation the dx should be cleared first so clearing that dx and divide with bx means that will divide dx and ax pair that means dx and ax can be divided by bx in dx we will get the remainder and we are comparing our remainder with zero so compare remainder with zero if they are equal we will got the answer that is we got the gcd otherwise what we do is move your remainder into the ax okay this remainder can be uh, taken into the ax and we will do the comparison so just go to the comparison here Okay, so that will compare and check whether which one is greater if they are if first one is less than the second one we'll just again swap it okay so swapping is nothing but exchange ax and bx here the instruction ax chg is a, an instruction that will exchange ax and bx that means ax and bx will get swap and again we'll go to the division so again the division will be performed here in the previous step so we if you are jumping into the label ans that is answered here the second number is taken into the gcd that is bx is taken into the gcd 
then we have to perform the multiplication so for that we have to take n1 into ax n2 into bx then multiply both the numbers that is multiply ax and bx divide with gcd the coefficient value is in ax so we'll store that coefficient value into lcm move ah comma 4ch interrupt to 21h will close the execution or we call it as the end of the execution so this is the program now we'll move on to the execution part open the tasm here i have already created our program and i named it as lcm.asm so just to open the program edit lcm.asm here is a program we have taken the numbers first number as a triple zero a which is nothing but a 10 and second number is 4 so we know that 10 and 4 the gcd is 2 and the lcm is when you multiply 10 with 4 that is 10 into 4 will give you 40 and 40 divided by your gcd that is 2 that is equals to 20 so the lcm for this particular program or these values 10 and 4 is nothing but 20 so that is the answer we are expecting we'll see whether we get the answer 20 or not okay i'm just saving my program exit from here assemble your code so tasm lcm.asm and there are no errors and warning messages perform the linking t link lcm dot now the file extension is obj you know that now execute the program so turbo debugger td command with lcm this will open this uh, debugger windows so i'll execute the program step by step so for that i'm just pressing f7 so here we are performing the initialization of the data segment next we are moving n1 into ax so you can see that ax has got the value a that is a number 10 and we are moving second number into bx that is 4 we are comparing both the numbers 10 with 4 so jump if equal is actually false so we'll move to jump if below so jump if below is also false we'll go to the division directly okay so here we are clearing the dx register so dx is cleared and divide with bx so already ax is having a and 10 a that is 10 and bx is 4 so when you divide 10 with 4 so 4 will divide 10 2 times and the remainder is 2 so the coefficient 2 will store in ax and the remainder 2 will store in dx here you can see that ax is having a 2 that is coefficient and dx is having 2 that is a remainder now you can see that we can we are comparing our dx with 0 so they are not equal so we will take the value dx into ax okay so that means dx2 is moved into ax then we are just comparing ax and bx so here 2 is compared with 4 so they are not equal so je is false so we are going into a statement called jump if below yes 2 is below 4 that means 2 is less than 4 so what we have to do here is we have to swap it so we'll go to the swap so swap is exchange ax with bx so you can see that ax is having 2 and bx is having 4 so bx will be transferred into ax and ax values will be transferred into bx here you can see that you have just swapped those two numbers so ax has got 4 and bx has got 2 again we clear the dx value so that will be all zeros and again we'll divide dx and ax pair with bx so 4 is divided by 2 the coefficient is 2 and the remainder is 0 now we are comparing our dx with 0 so which is also 0 so je is true 
now you can move your bx value into gcd so here the gcd is actually 2 so now what we have to do is we move number 1 into ax that is a and number 2 into bx that is 4 and we multiply bx means multiply ax with bx 10 into 4 which is 40 a 40 in hexadecimal is a 28 so what is that 28 is 2 into 16 32 plus 8 which is a 40 and we divide with 2 so 40 is divided by 2 means that is 20 so in hexadecimal 20 is nothing but 1 4 because 1 is now equals to 16 so 16 plus 4 is a 20 and we are moving our result LCM into the location 0006 which is nothing but the memory operand LCM okay so before closing that I want to show you the result so open view and go to dump here you can see that the first memory operand is a so 0a00 means triple zero a and the second operand is 0400 which is a second number so a and 4 and the third memory operand in our data segment is gcd so in uh, in this example the gcd is actually number 2 so this is number 2 and the next two gcd we have declared lcm so here the LCM is 1400. So that means 0014. 14 is equal to 1 means 16 plus 4 that is equal to 20. So the answer for this program or the LCM for this number 10 and 4 is nothing but 20. So that's it my friends. I'm just closing this dump. Okay, so that will terminate my program. Okay. So I'll exit from here. Okay, my friends. So this is a LCM finding LCM of two numbers. We have taken A and 4 that which is nothing but numbers 10 and 4 and the LCM of 10 and 4 is a 20. Hope you understood the program. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.